You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have Dr. Dan Holtzclaw. Dr. Holtzclaw, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks for having me, Randy. So now, you uh, are the director of implants with affordable dentures and implants. So tell us a little Correct. bit about your role and a little bit about the company. Right, so affordable dentures and implants has been around for over 45 years. Uh, most people don't know that. And it was a company that started in 1975 in North Carolina. And yeah. the way the company came about was uh, many people were needing teeth replacement solutions and they were going to the regular dentist at the time and it was pricey and expensive. And so uh, the company's founders wanted to come up with a way that they could make teeth replacement affordable to the general public. And so they literally started the first office in a two-story house in, Is that Ken right? uh, in Kinson, North Carolina. And from that, the company has grown to over 350 clinics in 41 states. All affordable dentures and implants. Right, right. Okay. And you know the philosophy of the company has been to make teeth replacement solutions uh, affordable to the public. And, and, and it's not just lip service. I'm not trying to side with you, but you really are less. Significantly less than what typically you'll see at a solo private practice or uh, some of the other um, chains that do more wide variety of work. Okay. You know, affordable dentures and implants focuses on tooth replacement, whether that's dentures or dentures that are secured by dental implants or even uh, complete uh, replacement of all the teeth in the mouth with dental implants and bridges. Uh, basically, anything that is replacing teeth, affordable dentures and implants specializes in that. So we're not focusing on root canals and uh, you know cleaning kids' teeth and other things that you know uh, a typical office may do. Just dentures. Just and dental implants. Dentures and dental implants, anything that is replacing teeth, yes. So let's go over your list of services. Like if somebody comes in with an existing denture but they wanna upgrade it maybe, or they wanna get a new one, you offer a variety of options. Let's start there. And then I also, I know you brought a stack of photos and you were oh, showing yeah. me these in the green room and if yeah. anybody's watching this, I mean literally these are dramatic photos. And so we'll try to get to as many of those as possible. But mm -hmm. what are the different options for denture wearers today in your hands, in your offices? Well, because this company has focused on tooth replacement for over 40 years, they don't just make dentures. They make a variety of different types of dentures. And they're all made on site in a lab, a true lab that is inside of each affordable denture and implant Center. center right there okay right and so there are very low cost options very entry level all the way up to uh, very high-end cosmetic dentures that are digitally designed with computers CAD cam okay. uh, 3d printed milled uh, so a wide variety that can literally fit every budget from the very entry level to somebody wants a more premium product and then after a denture for patients that want something that's a bit more secure we offer dental implants that can secure the denture. And so some people will call them a snap-in denture or an implant anchored denture. Like what, like a couple of implants, a few implants to snap in, snap out? Right, so okay. it'll be anywhere from two to four implants uh, on the bottom jaw or on the upper jaw. And when these are placed, now a denture can anchor or snap onto those implants and it keeps the denture much more secure. Um, there's very minimal movement with those. And so that allows patients to have a lot more confidence in the fit of their denture, that it's much more secure. It improves the chewing ability with the denture. And then for patients that want even a higher premium product, we have what we call an all-in-one solution where there's no denture, period. Dental implants are placed and on the same day, teeth are attached to those implants. And so with this, there is nothing that ever snaps in or out of the mouth. So full arch of teeth that don't come out. Right, yes. And those are about as close as you can get to having your original teeth back. So with that, you can eat most any food you want. Uh, you don't have to worry about taking the teeth in and out at night. Uh, you treat them basically like your regular teeth. And it's 
the majority of the work is all done on the same day. So that's another nice option that you can have at the company. So essentially from very entry level regular denture to a premium denture to a denture that is held in with implants that can still come in and out. And some people like those because they like to be able to take the teeth out, clean them, and then anchor them back in. And then we have the all-in-one solution where you never take anything out and it's basically like having your regular teeth back. What could you eat? You could eat whatever you want with you, this? You can eat virtually anything you want. Now we still want you to avoid things that you should avoid with your natural teeth. Like ice cubes or whatever. Ice cubes, jawbreakers, you know, we don't want you. But you can eat steaks and oh, steak, nuts, apple, Doesn't nuts, um, you know, anything that you can eat with your natural and teeth. And all 350 plus of your locations, they will offer this, these options we're talking about today. Is that correct? Yes. So you can go into any of these locations and you will have the option of getting any of these types of treatments done. So really, if you're looking to replace teeth, there is no treatment that couldn't be done at any of the affordable Good denture and implant centers. You brought center. photos. What are we looking at? Because you say this is life changing. It's more than just teeth. It really isn't. And again, it's not paying lip service. For a lot of these patients, this truly is a life changing procedure. Um, even if you're just getting a regular denture, that can be life changing for a lot of patients. And then once you start to throw dental implants into the mix, you know, it really can change people's lives. So for example, you take a look at this patient. So when he came to our clinics, he uh, was complaining about having difficulty eating because you can see uh, some of his teeth are missing. A lot of the teeth uh, are crooked, stained, uh, that affected the way that people interacted with him. Uh, just because when you have missing teeth, when you have crooked teeth or just unsightly teeth, people make certain assumptions about you. And many yeah, times, okay. you know, those assumptions are completely unfounded. And, uh, you know, people, you know, have bad teeth for a variety of reasons. It could be genetics. Uh, genetics plays a big component. Sometimes, you ask a lot of patients and they'll tell you that their parents had bad teeth or their parents were in a denture at a younger age. And so there's a lot of things, you know, beyond their control. And when, uh, for example, this patient came to see us, um, you know, we presented a number of options to him from, you know, standard denture to implants that are going to hold in a denture all the way up to a fixed permanent smile with implants that are attached to a bridge. So he chose to have the upper and lower set of teeth that never come out. So okay. we place implants and then the teeth are attached all on the same day. Uh, so he never had to wear a denture ever. And just if you take a look at him wow. before and after, you can see just from his smile. He doesn't look like the same guy. Yes, he's you know a totally different person. And that literally comes from the inside out. It's not just you know the smile. Uh, or his ability to chew food better, which he can definitely do, it's just he feels better. He you know, has more personality, charisma, just because of that confidence that he has. So with a guy like this, okay, so he has really, really bad teeth, like a bacterial infection that's mm -hmm. causing problems. You are able to, in one day, remove the teeth, give him upper and lower teeth that are fixed, that don't come out. Right. Is that the case with this guy? Yes, that's what he okay. had. Now, in terms of what you just mentioned, in terms of infection, bacteria, so that is something that a lot of people don't think about because while the mouth can cause pain in a lot of cases, many times when people have something like gum disease, it is almost like high blood pressure. It's something that you don't really feel. It's something that you don't even really know that's going on. So you can't on. even brush and floss it out? In many cases, no, not without the help of a dental professional. Okay. And in some cases, uh, the gum disease could be so advanced that even with the help of a dental professional, we can't save the teeth. So you can see from his photos, he literally looks like a different person. Yeah. Just he has an inner glow. He is, He's definitely more handsome. Oh yeah. And it's not uncommon for our patients to you know, get a different haircut, different wardrobe, just because they feel better about themselves, you know, from all aspects. You know, not just being able to eat better and smile better and uh, just, they just feel better. In terms of feeling better, let me show you this next patient. Okay. So this patient had a significant amount of gum disease. And when you have gum disease, you can have a, a lot of inflammation that goes not just in the mouth, but all throughout the rest of the body. And it can make patients feel tired, down, uh, 
because they can, have an infection in their mouth. Right. Okay. And the infection okay. doesn't just stay in the mouth. And so it can affect many other medical conditions, such as diabetes. And when we treat these patients um, by removing the teeth that can't be saved, many times we're able to improve other medical conditions by eliminating the bacterial infection that is in the mouth, but that's also circulating throughout the rest of the body. We're eliminating a lot of that inflammation. We're eliminating that bacteria. So your body doesn't have to fight this infection. Right. It can now do what it's supposed to do, I guess. Right. If you okay. take all of the surface of gum in your mouth that is typically infected with somebody that has a full mouth of gum disease and stitch it together, it's about the size of the palm of your hand. Now, right now, imagine if you had an infection on your leg the size of the palm of your hand. You would definitely notice that. In the mouth, unfortunately, because we can't really see it, it's there, but we don't notice okay. it. And so when we're able to eliminate that infection that's literally the size of the palm of your hand. They feel better. You feel better, but your body's just having to do a lot less work because it's not constantly fighting all that bacteria and infection. And so So with her in this photo, she, those teeth could not be saved. Correct. So her options were? Well, her options, again, are everything that we do at Affordable Dentures and Implants, from a denture to an implant-secured uh, denture to permanent teeth that are attached to implants. And if you look at the way she looks here after the procedure. Oh, wow. You can see beautiful smile, happy, <laughs> you know. And I can't 100% say it's because of the dental treatment that we did, but, uh, you know, Diabetes control improved, which we see in many patients. And well, because you can eat better, obviously, more well, fibrous you, foods, things like that. Yes. Now, when people's teeth go bad, what tends to happen is because of either pain with the teeth or looseness of the teeth, they have to change their diet. They typically are eating more carbohydrates, more starchy foods, which one are not the healthiest foods, uh, but two also increase the amount of cavities people get because those types of food tend to stick to the teeth. Is that right? Okay. And just yeah, so overall change in diet, uh, just eliminating the inflammation that's just constantly circulating throughout the body can help with many other medical conditions. So she can eat whatever she wants. Yes. So at this point now with the treatment that we've provided, she can eat definitely with much more confidence than she could eat with her old natural teeth because of the condition that they were in from the gum disease. Okay, good. You have more photos? Certainly. So another patient here, very typical of what we'll see in our offices, just a number of teeth that are failing, uh, missing. Sometimes they have some cavities, uh, a little bit of gum disease, a little combination of everything. So his options would be one, a standard denture or a upgraded cosmetic denture or dentures held in by implants or implants that are supporting a same day permanent set of teeth, a bridge. Okay. And you can see with the treatment that he received at the clinic, he now has a beautiful smile. That very, looks good. Very strong. He's, you, and you with, can see with, he's with, just. And with a guy like this, because look, I, I told you in the green room, I, I feel like I could spot fake teeth walking down the street, but these look real. So is there a lot of computer technology that goes into making this look good? Well, there is. We have complete CAD cam design. We also have more artisanal design where we'll have an individual technician that can literally move each individual tooth. And people ask for a lot of different things. You know, everyone's individual. We have people that ask for gaps in the front teeth, people that Is ask that right? for more crooked teeth. Um, not everybody wants a Hollywood super perfect smile. Some people don't want anyone to know they had anything done. And they will ask for things to maybe look similar to what they had with like some imperfections, teeth. possibly. Correct. Is that right? And many times people will bring in pictures from when their teeth were the way that they liked them and say, you know, just make them look like they used to. And I mean, a funny story was we had this patient who we made a beautiful set of teeth for her and the middle of the teeth were set in the middle of her face. Well, she was just upset with that. She wanted the middle of her teeth set off to the side because that's how her natural teeth were. And because we have this computer technology and we have, did it. we're able to change it and make it the way that she wanted it. And again, that's really the point is to get things the way that you want them. And so we're able to do that for the patients and everybody wants something a little bit differently. What do they like more that, you know, especially the denture crowd that switches to a snap in, snap out set of teeth or the teeth that are, that don't come in and out. What do they like the most? What they could eat or the way they look? It's really all of the above. People like that they can eat more of whatever they want. They like the way that they 
look when they smile. They get compliments from random people on the street, friends, family. And right? just all of that combined together just makes them feel better. Just overall, uh, it just really, you know, you put on a nice dress, you put on a nice suit, you just feel better about yourself, more confident. And this is something that you never have to take off. You always have your smile on. And so you wake up every day feeling just a better person. Is that what they tell you? That's what they tell you, and it's true. You is this one of those things where they say, I should have done this years ago? Yes. When it's all done. We hear that all the time. If I knew then what I know now, I would have not waited. I would have done this years ago. So this next patient is very interesting. He had gone to a location where they don't do that many implants. And he had had some treatment done, and it was not going so well. And when he came to our center, we were able to help him and you know, take out some of the old treatment that was done elsewhere. And because of the experience that we have with implants and surgery, we were able to get him to a position where we took him out of pain, we uh, improved the way his smile looked and allowed him to start eating and feeling better about himself once again. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, great, he was extremely happy. Uh, another patient that we have here, so this patient is interesting because we, in many of our centers, offer some very advanced forms of dental implants. So for some patients that have extremely limited amounts of bone, you know, severe bone loss, there are highly specialized implants that only a few people in the country do that we can utilize to get these patients' teeth again. It, but isn't it true? I mean, if you've been wearing a denture for like uh, 20 years, 15 years, you can't do this because you don't have enough bone. For many doctors, that is true. But there are certain highly specialized techniques and implants. As a matter of fact, that's what I personally wrote the 230-page textbook about. For people with limited bone. For people with severe amounts of bone loss, that, that very right? limited bone that we can utilize some of these special procedures and special implants to give these people back teeth. And believe it or not, it could typically be done on the same day. So for people that have been in a denture for 30, 40 years sometimes. Really? that have been told there's nothing that can be done for you, that there are still some possibilities for them to get teeth, and it's all on the same day, believe it or not. So there's always usually something you can do. How old can you be to do this? Well, the oldest patients that I've personally treated for this type of treatment is 94 years old. Why would a 94-year-old want to do this? Well, that's a great question. I actually get asked that a lot. And his response when I asked him that was that he said there's many things that even if I got replaced, if I got my knees replaced, I still can't go run a marathon. He says, you know, if I had my teeth replaced, I could at least still eat and enjoy it's good. the time Fair. that I'm still yeah. here. And he said, even if I'm here for one more year, for me, one year is 100% of the rest of my life, as opposed to somebody that might be 30 years old, for them, 50 years is 100% of the rest of their life. So if you're 94 years old, I mean, most people in their 80s read an article, they're on four or five medications. So you could be on a few medications and still get this done? Yes. So okay. each patient is going to be treated individually, depending on their health history. You know, we certainly do health history backgrounds. We do uh, medical clearances to make sure that uh, if you're being treated, that you're being treated in the safest way possible. So if you go back to this patient's uh, before and after photo, you can see by utilizing some of these very uh, highly specific implants for severe bone loss that we were able to give her back a beautiful smile that is extremely strong and will last her for the rest of her life. And then maintenance, she just brushes them just and The maintenance sees you for guys these is like extremely a... easy. So for example, with a regular denture, you're taking them out, cleaning them. With a snap-in type of denture that are supported by implants, you still take them out and clean them which a lot of people actually like. Okay. Um, and then you have the permanent solution where with those teeth, you treat them just like teeth. You brush them. You don't have to floss them because they are one solid set of teeth. Okay. And you can clean them with a water pick. Now, they fit very tight against the gums. And that is a question that a lot of patients have. Am I going to get a lot of food up underneath these? Yeah. And because of the process that we use when we finish and deliver the permanent bridge, they will make a nice tight seal with the gums. And so when you're cleaning them, you can use a water pick to rinse the edges, but you're not necessarily having to dig up underneath. So them. they go through annual checkups like a, just a regular person with their right, teeth. Right, just a yearly maintenance. Nice. So just like you go to a dentist and get a yearly cleaning, with this you still come and you get a yearly maintenance where we're checking all the implants, the tightness of the screws, cleaning the teeth, making sure that everything is still 
nice and strong and okay. fitting nice and tight. When somebody goes in there, are they always presented with your inexpensive uh, denture options, cosmetic denture options, snap and snap out teeth, or the full arch of teeth? Is that pretty much a standard within your organization? It's a standard. We certainly are going to offer all options to all patients. Now, some people come in and they know exactly what they want. Oh, they do, yeah. Now, some people come on and they want the you know, highest end solution, but it might not be something that fits within their budget. Uh, some pa patients come in and all they want is a denture because they don't even know that this other stuff exists. Okay. And so by you know, educating the patients on here's what is available, many times there's treatment that they will get, but they didn't even know that that was there as an option. Okay. And then other patients, they want a certain treatment and it just doesn't fit within their budget, but we do have other options. So they don't have to go around with a bad fitting denture or no teeth at all. There's always something that can be done. All right. And so this is another typical patient that we'll see in our clinics. Again, uh, you can see in his initial smile, you don't really see any teeth and because he doesn't have any teeth. <laughs> so, okay. you know, we'll have some patients that come in with a pre-existing denture that maybe was made 10 years ago, 20 years ago, two years ago, and they want to replace it with another denture, maybe a, a prettier denture, one that functions better, okay. or they want something that's more secure, and that's where we can add implants that the denture will snap in, or they want to get rid of a denture entirely, and we could put in the permanent implants with the bridge that, that never doesn't come out. out. What right. does he get? With that one, he opted to go with the permanent bridge solution. That looks good. Yes, very natural. You know, we don't want it to look fake that someone can pick you out from a mile away and know that you had fake teeth put in. You know, we want it to look natural that uh, is going to allow you to function and uh, no one will know the difference. Okay. You know, so another patient, this patient is interesting. She came in and she had the, uh, top teeth done first and then a few years later came back and had the bottom teeth done. So not all patients get everything done all at the same time. Sometimes the top teeth are in worse condition than the bottom or vice versa. And so these patients can come in and just get part of the treatment done and come back at another time uh, when they're ready to have the other portion done. Uh, so that's something that a lot of people also have uh, questions about. Do they have to do everything in the mouth all at the same time? Sometimes it's not required. Maybe one set of teeth are in good shape and okay. the other set are bad. Or it might be finances. Uh, they can only afford right now to do the top jaw and not the bottom jaw. And so in those situations we will uh, do the procedure on the top to replace the teeth and then get the bottom into a state where they can utilize those teeth for as long as possible until such time good. that they can replace them. Now, 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 you told me that some centers, that they do one thing. It's very common in the industry, which is remove the teeth and give them one option. Right. Which may be a very expensive option. Right. And we see a lot of those patients. So we'll see patients that have been to other locations, um, other clinics where they're essentially giving one words, option. they don't offer like cosmetic dentures or right. snap in, snap out, things it's, like that. It's just... We're taking the teeth out, we're putting implants and attaching a bridge. And that's great, but many times that's not fitting within not affordable. everybody's budget. It's not affordable, exactly. Okay. And so we're able to offer the full gamut of treatment for these patients. And you know, different patients are going to require different treatment from standard dentures to upgraded digitally designed cosmetic dentures nice. to dentures that are held in with implants to teeth that don't involve dentures at all. You know, implant bridges all done in one day. Now we should mention, I mean, Medicaid, Medicare, even the best dental insurance covers a small portion. And you say some people finance this. Is that common? Cor correct, yes, many patients will finance this. Um, and there are a number of options that we offer for this. Okay. And so for those patients that, um, you know, don't have to pay everything up front. You know, many patients, you know, are not just gonna be able to come in and write a check. A check. I don't want to cut you short, but we're very low on time. Probably a minute and 30 seconds left. Well, do you mind if I show you a few more of these? Okay, two more. We'll rush you a little bit. Great. So this patient, he had severe bone loss. He had had treatment many times over the years. He was told nothing could be done. He came to our clinic. We're able to give him teeth again with all the different options that I talked to you before. This patient, 
Been in a denture for many years. Wow. Thought there was nothing that could be done. Comes to see us, we're able to give him a permanent set of teeth. That don't come out. That never come out. This patient, uh, beautiful before and afters, you know, a, a beautiful case. She was in a car accident, uh, had teeth that were failing, wanted to replace them. And with the treatments that we discussed, you can see just a different One afternoon, person. she walks out like this? Just like that. Beautiful smile, <laughs> beautiful personality. She looks different. Oh, yeah. She, she you know, I, I, after this, she was talking about changing her job and doing okay. what she really wanted to do. This patient, and, and he's a very interesting story. Oh, my goodness. He had received treatment with a patient or a doctor that actually ended up losing their license. And you can see what he had in his mouth. Doesn't even look like teeth. And no. no other dentist would even treat him because of what was in his mouth. And we were able to... How long did he exist like this? Five years, believe five it or not. Five years with those teeth? Five years, believe it or not. That is interesting. And I don't even think you can call those teeth. Does really this, just... I mean, do you get excited like you're on a consult and you go, boy, this is going to be good? Well, this person, we know that we know we can help him. And, you know, to help end five years of suffering in literally one day. And this Jeez. is his teeth. They're permanent. And I could tell you that he had been putting off taking his father to Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame because of what was going on in his mouth. And literally the day we put his teeth in, they got in their car and he took his 85-year-old father up to the Baseball Hall of Fame, which he'd been putting nice. off all because of his teeth, because of what he had in his mouth. And so those are... When he know, sees himself for the first time, if you could remember, I mean, I there must be... I remember that the tears are flowing. <laughs> I mean, how do you hold it together? Oh, many times we don't. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're a little we, choked up. We, we cry, you know, probably as often as the patients many times because, you know, you see how it, you're changing somebody's life. Good. You're, you're helping them. In an affordable way. In an affordable way. And that's what I really love about this company is that they make this available to many people that would not be able to get this done otherwise. We're out of time. Final message. Somebody watching this. They've heard what you have to say, but they're still a little skeptical or afraid. Maybe the fear of the dentist. Uh, what do you say to them? I tell them, come to Affordable Dentures and Implants. Let us show you the options. Let us show you what can be done for you in particular. Free consultations? Free consultations. Uh, you get CAT scan, you'll get an examination, and then we'll tell you everything that's available that can be done to help you. That's very nice. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. And if they want to find out more, do they just go online? Yes. Do they make an appointment or call the office? Yes, they can uh, call the number that's here on the screen. Uh, they can go to the Affordable Dentures and Implants website. Okay. And we'll be happy to give more information of what can be done. All right, Dr. Holtzla, pleasure having you on the program. All right, thanks, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.